the Global Green Growth Institute, working with developing countries to achieve poverty reduction and inclusive, sustainable economic growth. All over the world, urban centres are attracting more and more people. Currently, 54% of the world's population lives in urban areas, a proportion which is expected to increase to 66% by 2050. Rwanda is no exception. So right now, Rwanda is rapidly urbanizing more than any other sub-Saharan African country. Rwanda's urban population grew at a rate of 4.5% in 2015, more than double the worldwide average. It is clear that Rwanda's cities will play a definitive role in the country's path toward development. As cities grow and economic activities increase, negative impacts on the environment and the well-being of citizens may also increase. Rwanda is currently experiencing uneven urban growth, which is straining its infrastructure, the electric grid capacity, and creating housing shortages. Consequently, this has caused an increase in informal housing. Cities are also significant emitters of greenhouse gases that contribute to climate change. With Rwanda at an early stage of its urbanization process, this now represents an excellent opportunity to learn from the international experience, while also transitioning development toward a green pathway that avoids traditional development pitfalls that will exacerbate climate change impacts. Unless our future cities are green and climate resilient, they won't have a future. To mitigate this, the government of Rwanda, committed to growing its economy in a green manner, established the second Economic Development and Poverty Reduction Strategy No. 2, 2013 to 2018, EDP RS2. The project itself comes in, uh, is very uh, centrally uh, positioned in ensuring that Rwanda achieves uh, its high-level policy processes, including Vision 2020 and the global uh, commitments to sustainable development goals. The strategy aims to improve the quality of life for Rwandan citizens by targeting for urban green growth and development. The Global Green Growth Institute is supporting the Rwandan government to implement the strategy and helping Rwanda achieve its ambition of becoming a middle-income country through green growth. GGGGI achievement will be to see Rwanda's green cities development at a pace that is fast but also that is sustainable, taking into account the environmental and social uh, uh, aspects. In particular, GGGI is assisting Rwanda in the development of six secondary cities that will serve as poles of growth. These cities are Muhanga, Rubavu, Nyangatari, Huye, Rusaisi and Musanze. GGGI's key role is to provide technical and advisory support for the development of green urbanization that will achieve job creation, inclusive growth and poverty reduction in these selected secondary cities. These efforts are being driven through the Climate Resilient Green Cities project. Rwanda's Climate Resilient Green Cities project is uh, very important for us as uh, we have adopted the Green Growth and Climate Resilience Strategy in 2011. That strategy is, uh, has 14 programs of action and the tenth of these 14 programs is related to low carbon urban settlements. Project actions aim to lay down the stepping stones for green economic growth while also mitigating climate change by integrating requirements for green technology and production as well as planning. 
The development of Rwanda's secondary cities as poles of growth with balanced development opportunities will enable sustainable livelihoods and poverty reduction. The idea of creating secondary cities will boost our economy in order to become just a middle income country because we will create big markets, we will create big opportunities, areas, poles of our population where they can sell, where they can work and where they can learn a lot in order to improve their way of living. It will also avoid overly centralised growth by promoting a sustainable urban network throughout the country. So the government of Rwanda has decided to have the six secondary cities developed in a green way but also make sure that they have all the pull factors that are needed, such as uh, business opportunities, uh, infrastructures that are good but also green, and all these opportunities that uh, uh, bring people in the city are developed in a way that Kigali is decongested. To further support, GGGI has assisted the Rwanda Environment and Climate Change Fund. The goal of FUNERWA is to move from policy and strategy to the implementation of projects by mobilizing green financing mechanisms through Rwanda's domestic finance vehicles. During this transition where FUNERWA is being well established, GGGI will help from the technical point of view to make it more sustainable, bringing in some technical know-how and the skills that are needed to make uh, this financial vehicle for Rwanda more uh, sustainable. Urbanization is inevitable and necessary for development. Rwanda can be an example of urbanized sustainability and green growth, opening a path of success and sustainability which others can follow. I'm really excited about green growth in Rwanda uh, because it has the opportunity to achieve uh, significant employment. Uh, it is inclusive in the development. We shall be able to deal with the poverty reduction in a much more convincing way than we have done in the past. Rwanda can be a leader in Africa towards sustainability in its fast-growing cities.